Hi everybody, uh, welcome to um, your, uh, your movement uh, seminar with Brendan McKenzie, me. And uh, what I want to show you guys today is I want to show you guys how to use a foot bar or really any bar. Uh, you can use a barbell as well too uh, if you wanted to at the gym. Uh, basically one of the benefits of, of using a bar like this is we can break up some of the adhesions in the bottom of the feet. Uh, really a lot of pain that comes up along the chain, um, you know, from the, from the lower leg even to the knee the glutes, the back, everything like that, a lot of it, you know, can, can start at the feet basically. So it's, it's good to sort of check in with our feet often and train our feet often. So what I'm going to show you is, uh, this is, this is a, a, a bar called, called the, the foot bar, uh, by, uh, the foot collective company. And, um, and for me, it's one of my favorite things. I'm uh, pretty prone to Achilles tendonitis. And, uh, what I found is when I started using this, this bar, my feet loosened up a whole bunch. Felt like I was, I used to, I run quite a bit. Felt like I was running on, on uh, cement blocks almost with my feet. My feet didn't move. I just hit the ground and smacked the ground. Then have to pull my leg off. I couldn't push off. And what I found since using this bar is all of a sudden now I, my feet start to move a little bit better. I can roll through. And a lot of that tendonitis that I was getting in the, in the, in the Achilles uh, has, has really subsided and settled down. So um, when you guys go on the bar, we want to sort of hit all different parts of the feet. You'll see I'm holding onto two sticks or two dowels just to kind of balance myself. You don't need them, but what it does, it, it takes some of the weight off the body. So it'll, un, it'll unload your body a little tiny bit. Um, and, uh, and then it also helps with our balance as well too, so that we're not falling over. So the first thing I'll do is I'll start on the bottom of the foot, just uh, right sort of uh, right where the arch kind of begins, just, just behind the toes, right under the ball of the foot basically. That way I'm, I'm staying more on the soft tissue, okay? And then all I do is I just walk straight across, bring myself all the way across. So while I'm doing this, I'm breaking up some of those adhesions, but because I'm balancing at the same time, I'm also getting a little bit of strength in here as well too. So I usually do one set like that, then I'll move myself forward and I'll go more on the heel. So when I go to the heel, I'm still not right on my heel. So I'm not right here in the middle. It's usually a tender spot on the calcaneus for a lot of people. Just inside of that, again, sort of where the arch may be either, you want to call it beginning or finishing, whatever you want to call it essentially. Um, but right there, just inside of that heel, that's then where I want to work. So I'm here working all the way across. Again, same thing, those sticks are just for balance. I can also unload myself. So if it's super heavy, I may just lean on the sticks, take some of the weight off of my feet. If uh, if it feels good, I could throw one stick away and only do it with one, or um, I could go with, with none. It just becomes a little bit tough to balance. So I usually do one more kind of at the, at the front of the arch, one more kind of at the back of the arch, uh, and then I'll usually just stand on there and then work the middle. So from here then, I'll go more in the middle, and then I might just sort of work and twist on here. So sliding from the heel, then moving my way back more to the ball of the foot there, okay? And from there then, if you want to, you can then even play into some squats. So working through some range of motion there like that. Um, and the last thing that I like doing also is then tightrope walking as well too. Same thing, you can use the dowels here just to balance like this, okay? And then you can go backwards and then we can switch sides. And again, if you want to throw the dowels away and just work on our balance, then we can do that too. It's really good for breaking up those feet um, and you'll find that if you're doing that a few times a week, you're really gonna see really nice benefits from it. So uh, try that bar out, okay? Again, if you don't have a bar like this, what you can also use is you can also use a barbell as well too. And I'm just gonna show you guys what it would look like if, we, if uh, this dowel were a barbell. If this dowel were a barbell, all I do is I just roll here through my foot and I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'm rolling from the toes all the way to my heel. And I would do about 10 of those like that, and then switch sides, and then do 10 on the other side just like that. And if you don't have a foot bar, but you have access to a barbell like this, it's a great way just to kind of loosen up those feet and get them moving, especially for, uh, for those of you runners or those of you athletes out there that are on your feet all the time and, uh, and you know, challenging and stressing those feet out. So try that out and uh, good luck.